Oh, I really don't want to make this phone call. If I could only just send a text. Even seeing the person face to face would be better. Talking on the phone in English is very challenging because you can't usually see the person's face. Do you struggle with talking on the phone for business negotiations and other scheduling for your company? Let's look at some phrases and examples for effective phone conversations. The first thing I want to share with you is when you greet someone on the phone. Be sure for the phone that you don't answer with hello, I'm and your name. This is not correct for phone conversations. You need to say this is. So you would use an example like this. Hello, this is Jerry of Ace Company. If it is your job to answer the phone for a business, then you need to be polite. Here's the first example for answering the phone. Hello, thank you for calling Ace Company. This is Jerry, how may I help you? The phrase, how may I help you, is a good question. You may also say, may I help you? After you answer the phone, the person on the other end will probably say something like this. Hello, this is Tony. May I speak to Mr. Smith? If you take a phone call and someone asks to speak to another person, here are some responses that you can use. Just a moment, I'll get him for you. Just a minute, I'll put him through. If Mr. Smith is not available, then you want to give a different response and you would say something like this. I'm sorry, but he's not available right now. Can I take a message? If Mr. Smith is busy on a different phone call, then you want to say something like, I'm sorry, but he's on another line. Can I take a message? You could also say, I'm sorry, but he's on another line. Can you please hold? If Mr. Smith is not available at all, then you might want to say something like this. I'm sorry, but Mr. Smith is not available right now. If you give me your name and phone number, I'll ask him to call you back. What should you say if Mr. Smith is busy in a meeting? You would say something like this. I'm sorry, but Mr. Smith is in a meeting right now. If you give me your name and number, I'll ask him to call you back. If you need to take a message from the person who is called, here are some possible messages that you might hear. Yes, this is Tony, and I need to make an appointment with Mr. Smith. You might also hear, Yes, this is Tony, and I need to discuss the new product line with Mr. Smith. You could also hear, Yes, would you tell Mr. Smith that I'm ready with the budget and we need to discuss it? The person might also say, yes, this is Tony, and I need to make an appointment with Mr. Smith. He's expecting my call. Is there an available time? It's also possible that you would hear a message like this. Yes, this is Tony. Mr. Smith called me asking for a reference for someone that he's considering hiring. Just ask him to give me a call back when it's convenient. My number is 555-1212. Thanks very much. Those are some example messages that you might take from someone who calls. Can you think of any other example messages that someone might ask you to take for them? So there you have it. Expressions and example phrases for you to use for phone conversations when you are working from company to company. Oh, I think I have a phone call coming in. I'll see you again next time. Talking on the phone in English is not easy, but you can do it with practice and the more you learn. 
Thanks very much for watching. Have you watched these other videos? I have other videos on this channel that will also help you improve your English skills and grow in your confidence with English. Take a watch. I hope you enjoy them. Have a great day.